Hello there. Our slip tonight is K Shave Works Lancaster. It's an absolutely lovely peach scented soap. Let's move on down. And you'll have to excuse me while I work on the brush tonight is Massive Oak 1470 Bore. Renewed is. It was soaking and I'm loading a brush. Uh, I'm loading the brush. Uh, I moved that camera a little bit too soon, but that's all right. Doesn't take long to load. Cache works. So we're going to go ahead and dump that water and make soap. Or make lather, rather. Okay, shape for it made so <laughs> we're gonna make lather. Lovely stuff. And my bores, I'm really I know I think I said it when I need a little bit of water. I I think I said it last video, but I'm really enjoying my bores. Haven't used my spokes in a regular basis for a long time because I've been using synthetics and uh, that's lovely synthetics and badger dry my hands I've been using synthetics and badger for quite a bit and so I haven't really been using My Samoa's the only bore brush that I've been using is that uh, Omega Pro 48 which is fabulous uh, but that's it and I have a couple of days probably growth But uh, a bore is just a, a fabulous brush. It used to be before synthetics became all the rage. And don't get me wrong, I have some synthetics that I love too. Uh, everybody that knows me, follows my channel, knows I'm not a snob with that kind of thing. I, I like them all. And I got pretty much all of them. Synthetic horse bore, badger what I got so and I like them all but uh, it used to be before synthetics came along boar or badger were pretty much it the occasional horse not this is my J.R. Torre and uh, that was it you know if you had the money, lovely shape. You bought a nice badger, and if you didn't, you bought a nice boar because they were and are not very expensive. And there's a reason that they were recommended as an alternative uh, because number one they were inexpensive but number two and probably more important than that
is that they have a long history with barbers and with the common man shaving. That's lovely. And they're just fantastic brushes. And this shave, I don't remember. I think this is a Shobu edge. But I can't remember. Uh, but it's absolutely top notch. Lovely, lovely. Hands on that razor. I've got to be careful. The blade doesn't have a, a shoulder on it. And that right there, I laid my thumb against it. And thank God I was able to feel before I pushed it any further and realized that, hey, you know, that's an edge, dude. <laughs> My father-in-law's Boker. is pretty much shoulderless. And, uh, it usually, the last time I honed it, was the first time I ever honed the thing in my memory where it did not lay my left thumb open. while honing it. Lovely. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. Cold water rinse. And you see how I'm moving the 
cloth straight down with the grain basically uh, I'm not scrubbing really hard I'm not doing a bunch of this new shavers or even up some old ones that are getting irritation uh, that you can do that with a washcloth a wet washcloth if you scrub hard enough with a wet washcloth you can irritate your face so that's something to be aware of when you uh, if you wipe your face with a towel now I'm going to use Williams electric shave frost line this is a vintage after shave just got a, a little bit of it left but but it's wonderful smelling it's a wonderful lime scent and I can't imagine it's got a bit of menthol in it lovely that's why it's frost lime and I think I added some too now, as a matter of fact my eyes are starting to water now so I know I did I have a habit of that uh, even in two aftershaves that don't normally contain menthol but it's lovely uh, goes well with the peach so alright that's been the shave God bless you uh, and I hope that uh, you have a great uh, rest of the week and I'll talk to you later